King's Indian Defense, Orthodox, Glek Defense, 8.31c6. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. That was a well fought middle game that Black got the better of. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. b2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. E5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Na6 develops the knight and maintains flexibility, black may continue with c6 and nc7 in the future, depending on what plan white selects. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and frees f1 for the bishop. c6 controls the central d5 square. It is the last book move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. That falls flat. This disregards a superior strategy for defending a piece that was being attacked. It is incorrect. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. This makes it impossible for the adversary to fork parts. It is ideal. Recaptures. This can indicate that a knight was attacked. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to disclose an attack on a knight. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The knight is now adequately defended. This is the only good move. It is a great move. 
that pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen while also checking the king. It is best. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. That's good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. This poses a threat to strike a knight. That's good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. It's alright. That's good. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a rook. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. That was a well fought middle game that black got the better of. Both players had incredible precision in the endgame.